Hi, my name is Min Beam. I'm a breathing coach and I'm also a naturopath. Today I'm going to be talking about cadence breathing. So cadence breathing basically means breathing to a rhythm or a pattern. There's been a lot of studies on this kind of breathing, believe it or not, and I've got a link to a really good study um, in the notes below. Basically, when we breathe in an inhalation, what happens is we activate our sympathetic or our flight and fight nervous system. So breathing in increases heart rate, increases blood pressure. Breathing out activates the parasympathetic or the rest and digest nervous system. And so breathing out, our heart rate, our heart rate decreases, our blood pressure decreases. We are more relaxed. So with cadence breathing, what we're wanting to do is to exaggerate the parasympathetic. So, and it's in, a, it's in a ratio of one to one and a half. By that I mean you breathe in for four seconds and breathe out for six seconds. And the studies have been a lot on that particular cadence, but it doesn't have to be that. We're going to try a few today. It could also be something like three, five, or even two, three. So again, that ratio of one to one and a half. So let's just try one. We're going to try, why don't we try a three, five, and then I'm going to ask you to have a pause at the end of the exhalation. So I'm going to speak it. I'm going to say in two, three and out three, four, five. So as I say in, you're breathing in through your nose. As I'm saying and out, you start to breathe out through your nose. Now, if you know how to breathe using your diaphragm or belly breathing, do that. But you know what? It's actually really effective either way. So just coming back to diaphragmatic breathing, the diaphragm is this muscle here underneath the ribs and in its resting state, it's domed like that. When we breathe in, that, act, that muscle activates and shortens going like that, allowing room for the lungs to expand. And as that muscle's shortening, it's pushing down on the abdominal contents, looking like you're breathing into your belly. You're not, you're breathing into your lungs, but the abdominal contents are, are pushing down. And so you're going to see this widening, a little bit on the belly, a little bit on the side, so you can feel them in the sides of the ribs. And if you had someone's, your hands on someone's back, you'd feel that rising too. But it's not a big movement at rest. It should be a small movement. So let's start. All right, so we'll just get the stopwatch. Breathing in, two, three, and out, three, four, five. In, two, three, and out, three, four, five. In, two, three, and out, three, four, five. In, two, three, and out, three, four, five, pause, in, two, three, and out, three, four, five, pause, in, two, three, and out, three, four, five, pause. So which one did you find more comfortable? Did it feel too slow? Did it feel too quick? Was the pause good? Was it not? These exercises have to feel comfortable. It's not about what you can do. It's about what feels the best, the most comfortable for you. We're going to try um, four seconds in and six seconds out. And then I'll do it with a pause. Breathing in, two, three, four and out three four five six in two three four and out three four five six in two three four and out three four five six in two three four and out, three, four, five, six, pause. In, two, three, four,
four and out. Three, four, five, six, pause. So again, what felt the most comfortable for you? So from a physiological point of view, what we're doing is that the breath in breath, we're activating the sympathetic, out breath, we're activating the parasympathetic. We need both. And to be truly healthy is to pivot from one to the other. Kind of does, that's, that's the sign of being healthy, is going from one to the other without missing a beat. The other thing that's happening with this cadence breathing, with this rhythmic breathing, is that generally you will be breathing less per minute or a respiration rate of fewer breaths per minute than your normal breathing. So for the four, six cadence breathing, that's a 10 second breath. So it's only six breaths per minute. Now, most people breathe much more than that. Um, generally eight to 12 breaths is considered healthy, but a lot of people are breathing 20 breaths and more per minute. And from a buteco breathing point of view, that would be called hyperventilation syndrome or over breathing. And in general, what we're trying to do is reduce the number of breaths you take per minute. Now, of course, when we're doing the, the cadence breathing, that's a breathing exercise. You're not gonna be doing that all day long, but it will help to regulate the breathing centers in the brain to then slow down your breathing so that you will be unconsciously, because it's a very unconscious thing, of course, be breathing less per minute and in a relaxed way. So that's cadence breathing. Give it a go. It's, and, and don't worry if it, it like, so the, so if the four, six felt too long. It's too long for you at the moment. So bring it down to three, five, or even two, three, or even one to one and a half, or one to two breaths per minute. I'd like to know how you go. Thanks.